Tom Daly said his husband was blacklisted from Russia over an LGBTQ protest in the country in the screening of a film about gay U.S. politician Harvey Milk, unearthed accounts show. The athlete, 27, and his synchronized diving partner, Maddie Lee, took home Britain's second gold medal of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games on Monday. The win, in the men's 10 meters platform event, is the pair's first gold, Olympic gold medal, in what was a fourth appearance for Tom and Maddie's debut games. A score of 471.81 put the British duel ahead of their nearest rivals, China's Cao Yun and Chen Ain, whose total of 470.58 was not enough to continue two decades of Chinese dominance in the event. The ecstatic divers could be seen shouting and hugging their coaches after realizing they had sealed their victory. Earlier on Monday British swimmer Adam Peaty took home Britain's first gold medal of the Games as he defended his title in the 100 meters breaststroke. Team GB's Tom Pidcock also won gold in the men's mountain bike cross-country race on Monday, finishing 20 seconds ahead of his nearest competitor. Tom Daly is one of the most recognizable faces at the Games, with a handful of TV and film appearances, including celebrity diving series, Splash. He is married to Dustin Lance Black, the U.S. screenwriter, director, producer and LGBTQ activist. Tom has spoken openly about the couple's sexuality and how being gay is still taboo and even outlawed in some countries. In a recently resurfaced 2018 interview he revealed that Lance had been blacklisted by Russia, a country where gay marriage is not legal and tolerance towards LGBTQ issues is worse than in the UK. He did a big protest there with the massive rainbow flag, and after he screened his film Milk he started getting threats and attacks. So he's not allowed back, Tom told Shortlist magazine. Lance's 2008 movie Milk, which earned him a Best Original Screenplay Oscar, chronicles the life of Harvey Milk, the U.S. gay rights activist, and politician. Milk who was the first openly gay elected official in California's history, was assassinated in 1978. Tom said that anti-LGBT attitudes in Russia had also impacted his own career, as he spoke about skipping a competition in the country in 2014 soon after he told people he was gay. It was in the wake of my coming out. I thought it was too risky and unsafe, he told the magazine. Then, when everyone got back, I really kicked myself for not going. I'd let other people rule by fear, and it weighed really heavily on me. The diver said he knew he needed to go back the year after due to the potential positive message his appearance could have for young LGBTQ Russians. I'm conscious of my platform, so at the World Diving Series in Russia this year one wore a rainbow pin with pride on it. I wanted people to see it and know I was proud, and that they could feel proud, too, he added. On Monday Lance tweeted his congratulations to Maddie and Tom after their win, saying he had no words to describe the moment, and adding that there had been so